Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the numericals of the physics subject the important uh, numericals which you need to know from each module and uh, there are a few uh, numericals from the module 1, module 2 and module 4 okay which you need to know which are the most repeated ones okay so uh, before starting please do like and subscribe it helps me make more videos like this so without wasting more time let's get started the first uh, question is that uh, a laser source has power output of 10 power minus 3 watts okay so power is given you will be writing power here calculate the number of photons emitted what you have to calculate number of photons emitted n is equal to question mark uh, per second so time is equal to one second given wavelength of laser is 692.8 so uh, wavelength is 692.8 nanometer is 10 power minus 9 meter now the formula for calculating the uh, uh, number of uh, photons is n is equal to lambda pt by hc okay so lambda will substitute from here p value is given t is one hc value is constant so we'll be putting that constant value here we'll be getting the value of photons per second okay this is to calculate number of photons given the wavelength okay the next type of question is uh, angle of acceptance okay this is 30 degree okay this is what this is 30 degree okay 30 degree when kept in air find the angle of acceptance when it is in a medium of refractive index 1.3 so a uh, medium's refractive index is given and the refractive index of air is 1 and the angle is 30 degree so we'll note down all those things uh, theta a is equal to 30 degree and uh, refractive index of medium is equal to 1.33 we have to find out the uh, angle of acceptance in that uh, medium okay so sine theta a is equal to n1 minus n square t, uh, root okay and sine theta uh, 1a since it's in a medium we'll consider air also here so n1 square minus n2 square by n naught okay now if we divide these two values we'll be getting here this equation and uh, sine theta a by this will become 1 by n naught okay when we simplify this this and this will get cut so it will be 1 by n naught only or sine theta uh, 1a is equal to sine theta a by n naught n naught value is given the uh, refractive index of that medium is 1.33 and theta a value is given as 30 degrees so we'll substitute sine 30 is 1 by 2 we'll be getting a value and we'll take sine inverse of it so we'll get 22.08 degree okay so that is the uh, value of angle of acceptance now the third type of question they can ask is related to the uh, population ratio of the population n1 by n2 okay for that they have given that the emission of radiation is this much this is the wavelength value temperature value is given so uh, uh, lambda and t is given okay so we'll use the formula n2 by n1 is equal to e power minus h nu by kt k and t, uh, the t value we have k is the constant and lambda value is also given h and c is constant we'll substitute those values and find out it will be 10.25 into 10 power minus 31 okay Another type of question which they can ask is related to the uh, fiber optics, which is calculate the numerical aperture, relative RI, refractive index, V number, and the number of modes in an optical fiber of core diameter. They have given 50 nanometer and core cladding of RI is 1.4 and 1.40. Given the wavelength is 8, uh, 80 nanometer. So all these things we'll be writing here, whatever we need to find and whatever is given to us. Okay. And then we'll be applying the formula for NA. First thing they have asked NA. NA's formula is root of N1 square minus N2 square. Previous question also we did. Two N values are 1.4 and 1.40. You'll get 0.168. And uh, delta value. Delta is nothing but the relative re uh, refractive index. That is N1 minus N2 by N1. You'll get this value here. And V numbers formula is pi into d by lambda into n1 minus n2 square which is na okay so we'll get these values as 32.11 okay and what else that has number of modes right so number of modes we'll be calculating the number of modes here is v square by 2 which is 515 moving on to the module 2 we have the uh, question to find out the uncertainty uh, in the momentum and the position okay so uh, here we'll be using the heisenberg's uncertainty formula first with the energy is given to us and the percentage of uh, momentum we have to calculate okay energy is given to us percentage of memory uh, momentum we have to calculate uncertainty and the position's uncertainty is 0 0.5 angstrom so delta x is given and e is given so we'll substitute this formula okay in this formula delta x is given and h by 4 pi is given so p value oh, you need to calculate we can easily calculate by substituting it here also energy is given to us right so energy we can use this formula here and we can calculate p in both cases we will get a p value and uh, the uncertainty in the p value is this this is the p value okay these two answers you have to write okay and uh, they can ask you the de broglie wavelength to find out the wavelength given the uh, potential difference so here lambda is given and h by 2 mev root formula you have to use here h value will substitute the v value is given we will substitute the v value here and we will get the wavelength which is 6.403 into 10 power minus 13 meter 
Moving on to the module 4, the uh, most important and the repeated one is related to Fermi energy. Okay, module 4 has a lot of related to Fermi energy, right? So here what is given to us, the density of aluminum is given. Okay, density of aluminum and the temperature is given at 0 Kelvin. Planck's constant mass of electron is also given to us. So what we need to calculate? We need to calculate the Fermi energy. The formula of Fermi energy is H square by 8m, 3n by pi raised to 2 by 3. Okay, so H square by 8m we will be writing here 3, pi, 3 into n. n value is given which is the density here. Okay. Okay, we'll be multiplying it and divided by pi okay so when you do that we'll be getting an answer 11.68 electron volt okay so these are the most repeated uh, numericals don't miss any of them solve similar ones uh, if you have the time and uh, please do like and subscribe it helps you make more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one